Hi diddly ho and hello. Well, uh, I guess it's time for another video. So here we are with this thing again. I know I said I was going to replace the Hemera or the, the drive, the direct drive with the Hemera and I still have not done that. I keep finding more things to print and I am testing various 3D prints for the Hemera mounting system. There's a couple of things that you have to 3D print for the Hemera to mount onto this CRV2 and 3 and I have been trying to make them um, work. I have been successful. I am just trying a couple to see which one I like the best. Yeah, I'm being a little for snickety. Other than that, we're continuing with the process of replacing these wheels and I had shimmed up this belt on here and now it is time to shim up this belt. This one on here and it's the gantry belt. Um, oh, is this the Y direction? This is the X direction? I can never remember. It's labeled on there. I'll look in a second. Um, so, out of all the problems you'll have with the CR V2 V3 or CR10 V2 V3, you're going to have belt alignment issues. The belt's going to rub on the pulley. The belt's going to be a little loose. The belt's not going to be aligned and be a bit spongy, which is synonymous with being a bit loose. All of these issues kind of compound on one another. And as I have done these upgrades, I have seen these problems pronounced um, with each one. So as I solved the problem with the bed direction and I replaced with all of the wheels that worked really well with all of the prints, these polycarbonate wheels are beautiful. I love them. I'm going to do it again. There are three wheels on the gantry alone, and all of those are going to be replaced with the polycarbonate wheels. After, ooh, I just noticed something. Excuse me. Um, uh, after I replace all the polycarbonate wheels, I am going to um, shim the belt and make sure it is tight. It is not as easy to shim the belt on the gantry as it is on the <clears throat> the bed access. So this is going to be similar but different more or less me going, eh, good enough. So my hope is by the time I get the polycarbonate wheels on there that things are going to start looking a lot better. Forgive me, it's hot. I'm going to be working a lot with the fan on here. Welcome to Texas, everyone. Oh, it feels better already. <sighs> I'll try to filter out that noise. So another good thing we've got is if you noticed, I'm going to show this off. I got a second camera. <laughs> That's a little exciting. Something I've been missing in this shop is a second point of view. Uh, so that everyone can see something without me stopping. That's going to make things a lot easier as I do this. So I don't have to stop and reposition this one. I've got that one ready to go. <laughs> so let's switch to it. Reality. This is the X. This is the X stepper. Um, this is the X gantry. So <laughs> I knew it was labeled. All right. So come here, you. This cog has a little pulley right there. Right there, you see it? Yeah. So that little pulley is held together by several uh, key nuts, Allen key nuts. And I am using the provided Creality Allen wrench and I am going to loosen them. As you can see, there's two of them. Let's get them both loose enough so that this can slide off. Yeah, come on. Being a little stubborn. There it goes. All right. Now, the reason why I'm removing this cog is not to do any maintenance on it. Is because I want this to slide up and down on the shaft. This has to do with your belt 
alignment. This side, this whole setup doesn't shift. You do have an arm on here that can bend since it's made of aluminum. There's not much you could do about that. Um, I can put a piece of paper there to shim it so it is much, much, much easier to shim the pulley side, or not the pulley side, to shim the um, cog side. When I shim the cog side, that'll allow me to align it with this fixed position. That's not going to move ever. Now, unfortunately, in order to do this, you have to have a couple of pieces you don't already have. Provided with the Creality Kit, and of course, if you recognize this, it sat behind this, where the uh, end stop switch is. So, this QR tag obstructed the four screws, the four big boys here, that obstructed those four screws, and I have to replace them because I need to put it on the gantry uh, without that. This looks like it's going to be... Smallest ones I got, which are usually the M2s. So I need to get some short M2s. I only need two of them. And in order to do this, this is the only other thing that I need outside of what comes with the Creality printer, and that is an assortment of um, tapered tip M screws. And these should be the M dot, the M2 variety. If not, they're the M3. I don't have my calipers to test that. Um, I'll put it. I'll put this in the description so that you can buy it outright. This has been a savior many times over. It is nuts. It is bolts. That's it. Now that's not to say that I don't have four other of those. <laughs> I've used them all. They're inexpensive and they're so helpful with your project. Um, when you just need an M.2 screw, or I keep saying M.2, that's a hard drive, M.2. When you need an M machine, screw, bolt, whatever, uh, it's so handy to have a couple on hand just to grab and be able to do something like this. So now, with this removed, I am simply going to put it back here. And I am going to see how deep these go and make sure I don't need more shallow versions. Six millimeter, four millimeter, they're the short ones. Now the reason why I'm using these bolts, because these are self-centering, and what that means is that this taper on here We'll push it to the exact center of the bolt hole. Don't say that in public, kids. And when it's pushed in the center of the bolt hole, it will center itself within that bolt hole. All right. This is a little difficult. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's do it without it. I'll give you some slack. There we go. Now I could put these in the hole. The bolt hole. You only need two on opposite corners, not the same side. So ask yourself, should I replace the polycarbonate wheels first? Or should I shunt this first? I'm going to replace the polycarbonate wheels first. It's like a trick question. Not really. <laughs> but it's like a trick question. Eight millimeter. Okay. Oh, I hate doing this. You didn't hear me say that. I love doing this. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world.
last step, pull the belt out. This is, this is a lesson on how pulleys work. You have good quality bearings and bad quality bearings. Right now, this is tightened. I can tighten it more, but it is tight. If this rolls and you feel grinding, that's a problem. If this rolls smoothly and easily without resistance, that is in good condition. That's the way you want it. There are times when that is not the case and you need to fix that or you will wear those bearings out and they'll just fall apart on you. While I get this pulled out, this is just your standard roller. It's kind of gunked with some stuff in there and we're going to need to clean that out, but I'm not using that. This is the eccentric nut. This is called a mounting plate. Every printer has one. It is basically a set of pre-drilled holes for your hot end. And this is what I 3D print and mount to a new mounting plate or a um, adapter plate so that I can hit fit the Hamera. And that is what I'm playing around with right now.